Hi, there. Therefore, the photo shows why I decided to do hair straightening. I initially thought keratin or nanoplasty. After reading it, it turned out that nanoplasty is better. But the first time I did keratin, this video will be about keratin. But the second time I have already done nanoplasty and I liked it more. I'll tell you why in the end. But such a remark that nanoplasty cannot be done regularly. That is, it is always necessary to adjust the methods of hair alignment, sometimes Botox is administered, but it's better to communicate with a master who sees and knows, understands your hair. So, this is my native hair. The first photo after washing, the second photo is semi-wet, and the last photo they are completely dried in an independent way. I don't like to do styling, I don't like to waste time on it. Of course, I dreamed of smooth hair from school, that's why I made such a beauty. This is keratin alignment, as I later realized, it was made with ordinary cosmetics of an average level. Of course, such hair as in these photos and videos, unfortunately, I did not succeed anymore. It is clear that the lighting is correct here, immediately after the procedure. I don't like these videos when the hair is pulled, wiggled, but how beautiful they are. Let's finally analyze the pros and cons of keratin straightening. In the photo, my wet hair after the first wash, and they are in the dry version, just dried with a hair dryer. I am happy, because never before have I been able to dry them just like that with a hair dryer without leveling to such a state. And then there is a small wave at the back. It's because I didn't dry well there and they were a little wet. This is the second drying of my hair and I am also very happy. I just dried them effortlessly for about 10 minutes. It turned out to be a decent option. You can see a little bit that there is undulation there under the bottom. To avoid it, you just need to dry it better and that's it. Let's move on to the main thing, the pros and cons of keratin straightening. Next, I will tell you about each item with its own nuances. Pros Smooth hair Drying My 10 or 15 minutes if you want to be straight perfect, then it's better to dry it longer and use thermal protection for almost wet hair. Also, the hair is very delicate, smooth, does not fluff, but in the third month, the end of the second or third properties begin to fade. If you do not dry, do not pull out with a hair dryer, they will be a little wavy, they become a little more voluminous, fluffy. But it's also cool, the same buzz. Cons The ends of the hair dry out quickly. Therefore, if you need a really good styling, it is better not to go in a towel for a long time. Immediately start drying the hair sections qualitatively. Secondly, it is necessary to dry the bottom of the hair well from behind so that waves do not form, as I showed. The third point, be sure to get a haircut before the procedure, because I didn't. They began to grow back very quickly, and at the end of the third month, even the second, the hair at the bottom was already as it seemed, loose, split. Although they weren't split, they were just sparse and dry. Pay attention to this. And the main disadvantage is that the head gets dirty quickly. In general, the first weeks they were very oily and hair was hanging down. Then I began to wash it every 3 to 4 days, although previously soap every 4 to 5 days. And then, after the procedure, somewhere on the second, third, and even day, it was already clear that the hair that had grown old needed to be washed. Before, after all, fluffiness hid dirt, but the fluffiness is gone, the filthiness has come, the volume falls, the first two is about about a month. Very sleek hair. Also, somewhere from the second month, from the third it is better to dry in rows, because my hair started spinning at the bottom just a little light waves. But there was such a moment. As for hair loss, I didn't notice a significant difference. Still, I think that it depends on the internal state of a person's health. But at the end of the third month, they began to fall out a little more, perhaps because they became longer and it just seemed that way. Photo on the first day after the second nanoplasty procedure. Next, there will be a little about her. In this video, I came to the next procedure about four months after the first one. This is how my hair looked and it turned out to be so beautiful, smooth, super. This is a photo of the second or third wash after nanoplasty. So here I have dried up. Here I dried with combs. Brush off, it seems, well, not very much pulled. So, average. I liked her better. Why? Because after keratin, my hair was too greasy for a long time. 
I don't really like this kind of hair and it's very sleek. And after the procedure, it was immediately impossible to put them behind the ears. Although you could wash your hair in the evening before going to bed. After the nanoplasty, the procedure itself, they immediately washed my hair, dried it. And I could already do anything with my hair, tail by the ears, as I want. And after the nanoplasty, the hair was immediately healthy, alive, not sleek. They had their own volume. The volume is not lost. This was my experience in procedures and results. Did you like it? Yes, will I do more? Definitely I will. Share your experience. Have you done and will you do? What are your results? Did you like everything? Thank you for watching, likes and subscriptions.